two broke rednecks present. All right, Sid Davis, you better kill somebody in this film. From the little golden book of the same name. There's no need to get the police involved. We can work this out. I think you've established their involvement. It can't happen to me. That's what you said, wasn't it, Bill? But all men will suffer erectile dysfunction at some point. Let's see if we can find out. Not too many minutes ago, that young woman and her child were happy and healthy. Woohoo! Sid, you didn't let me down! Maybe they'll live and maybe they'll die. We say die. The next few minutes, hours, or maybe days, their lives will hang in the balance. And you well, minutes, because this is a short film. Days ...knowing you were responsible. The police will measure out the skid marks. They're going to measure the skid marks? My drawers will be fully loaded after an accident like this. ...that will be reviewed in court. Maybe you'll be found guilty. Maybe, maybe you'll get a beating at the hands of the police. Of waiting. ...waiting to find out if the mother and daughter will live or die. It'll be a short wait because their organs are being held in by duct tape. ...you've been drinking. Would you submit to a sobriety test? Sure, why not? After all, you'd only had a few beers. You're not and they should not have been on the sidewalk you were driving on. ...common sense of the word, but your driving ability was measurably impaired. Thank you, Captain Obvious. But what you didn't know was that it only takes a few beers to take the keen edge off your driving performance and slow your reaction time. And his reaction time's that of a turtle already. It's a sedative, a depressant. Oh sure, the first few drinks make you feel more alive and responsive, but actually... Ricky Raccoon, the early years. It slows down normal operation of the heart and nerve centers and depresses the inhibitory mechanism... Don't tase me, bro! It removes inhibitions and social restraints. This is what gives us the feeling of stimulation. You have more what? Are they blowing up balloons for have a party for running somebody over? ...the danger begins. You get a Superman complex behind... So alcohol turns you into Superman? It also makes you ten foot tall. ...when ethyl alcohol, which is the foundation of all liquor... Poor diagram man has no arteries running to his arms and legs. ...by the liver and turned into heat energy in the form of calories. Unfortunately, the liver can only process about three-eighths of an ounce of alcohol... Per I see they were expecting me. ...amount and three-quarters of a shot glass of whiskey or a short beer. When more alcohol is taken, the liver is unable to process it, and it passes into the bloodstream and is carried to all parts of the body. Making you feel like partying. ...begins to build up in the bloodstream. The first part of your nervous system to be affected is your judgment center. Which explains why so many injuries start with, hold my beer. This is the area of the brain that determines right from wrong. My dad doesn't have that area of the brain. ...and we adopt a, I don't care, or sure I can make it attitude. Eighteen years of marriage is my mid-adopt that attitude. We become easily exasperated by the driver we feel isn't going fast enough, and we take chances we wouldn't ordinarily take to pass him. They do that here, even when not drunk. At least not legally drunk. By that we mean our blood alcohol content is still below the .15% considered by law to be legally intoxicated. Man, you had to be really drunk to be legally intoxicated in those days. ...as much as 25 to 40 percent. A report by the American Medical Association clearly showed that two shots of 100 proof whiskey or two 12-ounce bottles of beer can inject a dangerous amount of alcohol into... Oh boy, I hope he hits the light crew. The worst part is that we probably aren't aware of it. Even an hour after having a couple of beers, our reaction time to light signals can be reduced as much as 6%. I don't think it's the beer that's making these pads out at the light. What is it then? It's the hits of acid he took. ...seconds for a person to regain his normal sight after being blinded by the lights of an oncoming car. At 60 miles an hour, that would be over a thousand feet, or a fifth of a mile of blind driving. Or three mistext. ...sometimes causes visual distortion, too. Things so I'm just drunk is why I need glasses? 
Another problem which often goes unnoticed by the driver but is no less dangerous is tunnel vision. Well, if you didn't drive looking through a paper towel roll, you wouldn't get it. Vision becomes increasingly narrow. That is, your periphery or side vision is decreased. Is side vision like a side dish? Because I won't mind to be fried apples. Sideswipe or intersection accidents. The National Safety Council says that two normal cocktails or four beers can reduce visual acuity as much as wearing dark glasses at night. You leave what me and my friend do at night out of this. Dark glasses, but nobody thinks much about driving after four beers. The effect of alcohol on vision is particularly serious because 90% of the driving decisions we make are based on how well we see. So how do those little old people who have to look through the steering wheel drive? Drink and must drive, wait. Let the effects of the alcohol wear off. And catch hell from your wife for being at the nudie bar. For each bottle of beer or all you take, the longer you should wait until it is safe to drive. If I wait one hour for each bottle of beer I've had, I'd still be waiting in the same bar I was in in 1992. For instance, under identical driving conditions, a person with 0.05% alcohol in his blood, that's about two drinks or a few beers. Is that Mater? Twice as likely to have an accident as a person with no alcohol in his blood. With 0.10%. So we're keeping score now? Of beer, the chances are three times as great. And when the blood alcohol has reached 0.15%, which is the legal limit, the chances are ten times as great. I'm not liking this live action version of The Simpsons. The common misapprehension of the drinking driver is that when he first drinks, that is during the absorption period as it's sometimes referred to, the individual readily feels the effects of the alcohol. Then it's, hey, y'all, watch this. Period, he becomes less aware of these effects and deludes himself into thinking he is sober. Come on, Sid, run down some more people. Feeling of intoxication with his beginning feeling of sobriety. He may be far from sober and is only making a dangerous... When are we going to see some kid prank call the bar? ...aware that alcohol and gasoline don't mix, but many of us think... It can't happen to us. I don't it drink, so I know it can't. Be smug about it. And it isn't until we have an accident that we seriously ask ourselves why we had that extra drink. To get drunk is why. We all find excuses for drinking. Most of them involve the wife. A need to belong, a desire to go along with the group, try something new. I drink because I'm thirsty. A few beers with the gang. It is a social custom of our time. But ah, crap! They're hipsters drinking past blue ribbon. Younger age than ever before. The few drinks that the social drinker may take don't seem to present a serious danger. She's gonna get pregnant, isn't she? Is that it is always too late when the emergency arises and our reactions are too slow to avoid disaster. I'm driving down the road and I'm flirting with disaster. That driving skills are to a degree a matter of habit, built up over long periods of practice. Do you get sweaty and need a towel from this practice? Driving skills mastered are the first to go when under the influence of liquor. How do I become a driving skills master? The experienced driver is less likely to have his skills seriously impaired than the younger, less experienced driver. So listen to the driving skills sensei. Follow traffic patterns, make necessary adjustments, and be able to react quickly to emergencies. Also avoid driving on the sidewalk. He is no longer capable of doing this. He has become a poor driver and is a danger to himself and others. Yes! This happened to you, didn't it, Bill? Sure, you passed your sobriety test. It showed you had only 0.08% blood alcohol. About and that you're a douche. They can't convict you on drunk driving, can they? Yes, but they you can. you always have to face the fact that those beach party beers were a contributing... They were at the park, stupid. If you hadn't had them, you might have hit the brake pedal a second or two earlier. Those skid marks on the asphalt would have stopped on the right side. Not Why? The were they on the left? Young woman and her daughter. The report just came through. The little girl died on the way to the hospital, and the mother will probably never walk again. And Sid kills another kid. Out, you'll always have to live with those facts, won't you, Bill? 
I was afraid no one would die in this. Sid, you came through. A pleasant future to face at the age of 18. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to stop for a few drinks on the way to the station. When did this become an episode of Cops? What did we learn from this? Sid Davis hates kids. Dear Broke Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.